Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by Joyful Habits. So I'm going to jump right in. We are making a snowman today, and this is a snowman that you can make no matter the weather outside. Uh, and it's pretty simple, so let's dive right in. Okay, so for this project, you're going to need some type of lawn sleeve sweater or shirt. And originally when I tried this, I used a white knitted sweater. And that worked very well actually, and the snowman came out super cute as you can see. But uh, because the knitted material does have holes in it, I found that if I moved the snowman too much, little pieces of rice would fall out. So for this time around, I found a white Henley shirt. So we're gonna lay the lawn sleeve shirt out on the table. You're gonna cut about halfway up the sleeve or a little shorter. It's gonna depend on what size you want your snowman, but I cut it about halfway up. We're then going to turn it inside out. You see this seam here? We don't want that sticking out of our snowman or showing um, when we get done making our snowman. So we're gonna turn this inside out. You're gonna take a rubber band and you're going to gather the very end of it, rubber band it as many times as you can. You really want this to be secure. You don't want it coming loose later on. So make sure that's really secure. And then we're gonna turn it back, uh, <laughs> inside in, inside out, right side out. You're gonna turn it right side out. Um, yeah, and, and that's, that is what you need to do. Okay, trust me. Why is explaining how to make a snowman so difficult? Okay, moving on. So now that we have our snowman, we need to fill it, and we're gonna be filling it with rice. My recommendation, find the cheapest store in your area and then find the cheapest rice in the cheapest store. You can also use lentils, beans, but I found rice just works well and it's easily accessible for me. You're going to just fill it up with rice and how much depends on how big you want your snowman. So if you want a little baby snowman, put less in. If you want a really big snowman, fill it all the way up, cinch it up, make sure it's secure. Okay, so now we're gonna make the shape of our snowman. You're just going to mold it and figure out how you want your snowman to look. The size and proportion is all up to you. And once you have it figured out, go ahead and add another rubber band. All right, and this is what we have. It's looking pretty cute already. So get your hot glue gun out because now we're going to start making the other parts of the snowman. For the eyes, all you need is a paper plate or a regular plate, and you're just going to make little dots of hot glue Try your best to make them smooth and not to have too much of the hot, stringy glue. And you're just gonna let those sit there. Don't touch them, let them dry. Now that the glue is completely dry, we're gonna paint it black and then once again, set it aside and let it dry. Okay, rolling out the chopsticks now. This is going to be our nose our carrot nose. So I just cut a little piece off the end and then we're gonna paint it orange. I don't like to paint it with a paintbrush. I like to dab it and roll it in the paint. I think this makes it look more imperfect and lumpy like a real carrot. Okay, so now we're gonna make the hat for our snowman. You're going to need a sock and yes, it pains me to cut up a sock. I really love my socks. Uh, but try and find, you know, an old sock that has had a good life and is ready for repurposing. We're again going to turn it inside out. We're going to gather the end, rubber band it, turn it right side out, and there's our hat. I know this hat is already pretty cute, but we're gonna add a pom-pom to the top of it, and we're going to make the pom-pom ourselves. It's very, very easy to do this. I remember when I first figured this out, I was amazed at how easy and kind of fun it is. All you need is a fork, some thread or yarn, and you're also gonna need some scissors. Fabric scissors or embroidery scissors work the best for this. So what you're gonna do is just wrap the thread around the fork over and over and over, and then once you feel like you've got a good chunk, you're going to take the thread and you're going to basically wrap it around the middle to cinch it into like a little bow, then slide it off the fork. 
and now what you're gonna do is just trim and then start cutting the loops and what you're left with is a little pom-pom. Easy peasy. Okay, so we now have all the parts to our snowman. We have the body of our snowman, we have the hat, pom-poms, ribbon and string for the scarf, we have buttons, we have the eyes, and we have the little carrot nose. Let's put this little guy together. You can trim the extra sleeve off of the top, but what I find is if you just fold it over, it actually adds more poof and volume to the hat. So I just leave it as is and fold it down. You're gonna pull out your hot glue gun again. I find that works best. Attach the eyes. Attach your little nose. For the scarf, I'm taking some white ribbon and I'm just wrapping it around and then loosely tying it but kind of letting it hang. This is just to cover the rubber band. Then I'm going to come back in with some twine and I'm going to tie a little bow to add an extra layer. And then you just add the buttons. Now we're going to attach the pom-pom to the hat. Just take some needle and thread and there's no pattern or rhyme or reason to this. I just kind of keep going until I feel like the pom-pom is secure. And the final reveal. This is our snowman. I think it's super cute. It's really easy to make these little guys and they're fun. I currently have my snowman sitting on my desk keeping me company. I've also made these for friends and family as gifts. As you can see, I did make a second snowman. I made a little baby snowman. Same thing as before, I just used less of the shirt sleeve and I also used less rice. I gave him a blue pom-pom and a blue ribbon to add a little bit of color. Honestly, the possibilities for these little guys are endless. You can use a different colored sock, different colored buttons, different colored ribbon. Uh, you could use a different colored shirt. <laughs> like, There are so many ways to spice these little guys up and make them unique. So have fun with it. If you guys end up making these, please uh, tag me over on Instagram. I'd love, love to see. I mean, gosh, you could even knit like a cute little scarf or something for these guys. I don't know. I could add different hats. Get little twigs out in the yard and just give them little arms. I'm sure that would be super cute. Okay, so anyway, have fun with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys make your own little snowman. I just, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you've been inspired. I hope you are finding ways to enjoy this winter because I know, depending on where you are, it can be tough. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, stay busy. Just do your best. And this has been Joyful Habits. We daydream and add a touch of whimsy here, and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Until then, keep smiling, everyone.